Hey everyone, so I've done a whole bunch more work and I have all of the parts printed out for the Caterpie. It's fully functional, all the parts move as we expected it to. So let's break this open and take a look at what I've done. So you can see here, the first thing that I've done is I've been, I gave it the ability to twist the tail and pull it out. There's a little slot that this feeds into and then there's a circle in the middle that allows it to spin. And what removing the tail allows me to do is it allows me to slide back the middle piece and remove it. And so I've made these clips and I've printed them and I've attached them to the inside so that these two clips slide on and allows the middle part to stay intact. And that gives it a nice strong connection. I know that this isn't going to fall out or fall off while in use. And also the tail with its clipping mechanism uh, Make sure that this stays in place. This isn't going to go anywhere unless the tail's off and I actually pull it and slide it off. It took a little bit of time to get the tolerancing right. I had to do a little bit of sanding and I covered everything in acetone to smooth it so that it slides better and also to make sure that everything is securely connected so that when I'm carrying this thing around, this middle torso with all of the Arduino stuff, you know, the battery goes here, the Arduino goes here, and all this isn't just going to fall out and I'm going to lose everything. You can see another change that I made was I made the switch. I put that on the inside here. So now that when this is closed, I can just turn it on and off from the outside and I don't have to worry about having to take the tail off to replace the battery or do whatever I need to. So I now have control with a switch on the bottom that you're not really going to see once it's sitting in its cage. And you can see that I've printed the other two halves of the main head and the torso. I have some sanding left to do to get them to line up correctly, but I can do that when I start the finishing process. Okay, and the way that these middle sections work is, uh, or the way that the head and the middle thorax are attached are not like these, or not like the main torso that has the clips, but if I grab this edge and pull it apart, it's kind of hard while holding it in the air. You can see that I have magnets. So these are just magnetically attached. I can take the head and I can spin it to separate it. And yeah, there's just uh, four little neodymium magnets on both the sides. Um, and I made a little platform with ABS on here and uh, epoxied them in place. So now that the magnets are nice and tight in there, I can just snap the head on, snap the middle section on, and boom, we are good to go. So this exposed, you can see a little bit more about how the tail works. The tail just slides in and then allows it to rotate. So the main arm stays stationary and there's little slots cut into the inside here. So with all the parts printed, the only thing left is to actually uh, sand it and paint it and do all the finishing work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this all apart. I'm going to start sanding it and make it nice and smooth. And then I've picked up some green and like yellowy tan spray paint um, and some primer and uh, let's get the finishing process going so we can actually make this look instead of a blue caterpillar look more like a caterpie as you would expect. So I have the sanded pieces here. What I did is I just took some uh, 200 grit sandpaper and went over all of the pieces, kind of smoothed out the edges. You can even see that on some pieces I laid down some ABS slurry to kind of fill in some of the gaps left in the 3D printing. And then I just sanded over that. Um, you can see that sanding ABS leaves the ABS very cloudy. There's a lot of uh, cloud that happens when you sand a 3D printed part. And so that's why I'm giving it, going to give it a couple of coats of paint. Um, this first coat is with a uh, gray primer just to kind of seal everything and prime the surface to hopefully let the paint sit better on this ABS plastic. And then I'm going to go over a couple of coats of uh, the top coat. Got a couple different colors in order to give Caterpie its Caterpie-like consistency. So let's get to spray painting. Okay. 
Okay, so the primer's on. You can see that it's the day after and everything's nice and dry and uh, turned out really well. So what I'm going to do is I have some more 200 grit sandpaper. We're just going to give this a light sanding to get rid of any remaining drips that may have happened. And then uh, we will start planning out the actual top coats. Get that taped up and start painting. So you can see that I've put masking tape on all of the pieces. This is going to be our first layer. So I have a kind of a yellow and a green that I'm going to use for the colors. So the first layer that I'm going to do is I'm going to do the yellow. So I've masked off everywhere that's going to be green, leaving just the bare surface. And then I'm going to spray paint this with the yellow. We're going to do a couple of coats. And then we will switch over and we'll cover up the yellow pieces and then we'll spray the green. So let's get the spray painting and see how this looks. So the yellow's had time to dry, and now it's time to remove the masking tape. So this should just come off pretty easily on its own, but I have my X-Acto knife here to pick at any parts that may get a little hairy. But you can see that it should leave a somewhat nice line down it. Hopefully the yellow's only gotten to the areas that we really want it on. There we go. So we have the first part of the paints done. I'll sit here and I'll just chip away some of the yellow that got underneath the uh, the masking tape. But for a for a first attempt, it looks pretty good. I guess the tape started to peel off over here. But uh, this, the next layer will be, I'm going to take the masking tape and I'm going to cover this area. And that will leave everything else exposed and I'm going to spray paint this the green. So hopefully once this is done we'll have a nice Caterpie looking head and, well, rest of the Caterpie. So all the pieces have been taped up covering where the yellow is. And now it's time to take our green and start giving it its final color. So I put on the top coat for all of the pieces. You can see that we have a nice glossy uh, green and yellow to form the base colors. So the next step is the little artistic details. So Caterpie has a bunch of yellow or the yellow circles running down the entire body, kind of mimicking the eye and the head and have little eyelets all the way down. So what I have is I have just some acrylic paint that I'm going to uh, just brush those on. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some black and I'm going to do kind of a pinstripe effect down on these sides to A, hide the seam between the green and the yellow and also to give it more of a cartoonish like hand-drawn look. Um, the anime has the black line separating all of the, the body parts. So I'm going to do that same thing to kind of just hide these crimes between where the painter's tape didn't quite seal all the way around. So that's just going to be in black. So let's get to painting.
the painting has finished. We have all of the top coat layers on, and you can see that I've taken a brush and just painted some acrylic paints to form the yellow circles and the eye, and I think that it looks amazing. It wasn't looking as outstanding before I did the outlining. That black outlining really separates the green from the yellow and makes just everything pop. And so this looks great. There's some cleanup stuff that I need to do. We do not yet have the clear coat on this, so the very last layer is going to be a couple coats of clear coat. That way I, I'm not chipping off the acrylic paint or anything like that. It'll be nice and awesome looking once I get the clear coat on, but I have to wait for the paint to dry a little bit longer before I can do that. So that will be it for this episode. I hope you liked it, and I hope that you enjoyed this paint job. There's only a few more things that we have yet to do before this Caterpie project is finished. So be sure to like this video if you liked the video, and to subscribe to be notified of the awesome stuff coming along. We're almost at the end of this project. I can't wait to see this thing finished. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching Hoffman Engineering.